Well, Ed, think about it this way. Not since 1974 has the Granite State seen a U.S. Senate race this close. And it means that now the governor here at the State House will be packing her bags for Washington. Supporters cheered on the New Hampshire State House steps as Maggie Hassan declared victory even before the final count was complete. I am proud to stand here as the next United States Senator from New Hampshire. And in fact, after elections workers added up the results from around the state, they found Hassan with 48.03 percent of the vote and Republican incumbent Kelly Ayotte with 47.89 percent, a difference of 1,023 votes or about one-tenth of one percent. Ayotte, who told supporters last night she felt good about her chances, issued a statement late today saying, quote, it has been a tremendous privilege to serve New Hampshire in the Senate. Now more than ever, we need to work together to address our challenges. The voters have spoken, and now it's time all of us come together to get things done. Hassan's win mean the Democrats pick up two seats in the U.S. Senate, but Republicans still hold a majority. The people of New Hampshire solve problems in their daily lives, in their businesses, in their communities every day, and they do it without respect to political party. So that's what they expect of their elected leaders. That's what I'll continue to do. Hassan's victory means that New Hampshire is the first state in U.S. history to have a congressional delegation made up entirely of Democratic women. However, the entire delegation will be in the minority. Live in Concord, New Hampshire, David Binick, WCBB, News Center 5.